we use the broad set of assessment methods. All in all, I think that uh, such a combination of different methods uh, helped us to gather data and consolidate the experience. It also helped uh, students not to feel under examination. Uh, the emphasis we put on the output uh, was to introduce students uh, to the evaluation parameters that they are likely to encounter in their future professions. However, I think that Tutor's most formative assessment methods uh, over the process were probably the most effective. Indeed, some students felt sometimes stressed when pushed to elaborate ideas on extremely complex issues that they didn't entirely manage. We tried to show them that the group interaction, the learning and knowledge sharing process was also important, not only the output. Uh, as I said, I, I suppose the interactions students had with tutors, uh, uh, with us uh, and uh, with the stakeholders, including in the final roundtable, <clears throat> were the, the most effective assessment method. Uh, such uh, conversations stimulated self-reflection, a deeper understanding of the issues at stake, uh, and personal involvement. Sometimes students had to comment uh, on real challenges that uh, affected them as non-Italian students, for example, students with disabilities or part of a residence. Discussing these problems and receiving feedback from scholars, uh, experts uh, and the peers uh, was, I think, uh, uh, especially useful. Of course. I think some one-to-one -one conversations we had about methodological issues or problems that surfaced in teamwork were the most effective moments of assessment or self-assessment for students. I think uh, assessment uh, in CBL should be seen as a very broad and comprehensive task. In our experience, we plan to concentrate on the output. Accordingly, we praise students' uh, teams uh, for uh, the quality of their projects uh, and presentations. However, we eventually realized that a CBL experience could uh, unleash uh, passions, uh, commitment, a sense of responsibility, create uh, community bonds, uh, motivate civic uh, engagement, and yes, also research and academic interest. All these go well beyond the deliverables uh, produced. A CBL projects should explicitly also incorporate uh, the outcomes dimension of uh, access. Uh, in our CBL project, uh, some outcomes uh, were clearly identified uh, as wished goals, uh, but uh, we found ourselves uh, unprepared uh, to assess them properly. Yeah, my recommendation would be to think of an assessment in CBL programs as mostly moments of self-assessment. They should involve not only students, but also teachers, facilitators, stakeholders. The typical division of the work between teachers and learners blurs. I wasn't required to give marks to students, but if I had, I would have probably felt I was marking myself too. <laughs>